All right, what's up, everyone? I wanted to go over something really quick again about Molina. So, a lot of the times in this game, um, something that I've kind of noticed is that, at least with Molina, is that uh, it, you have to get the, your opponent off two off, uh, defensive bars before Molina can hit them with a uh, combo, right? So, for example, if I use here... <clears throat> I use 1-1, one, one, you know, ball roll, right? Let's say I hit them in the neutral and I open them up after a down three on hit, right? That's that's good damage, right? That's like 300 damage, right? But if Liu Kang breaks, if he breaks, I have one bar and he has no defensive meter, but I can only hit him with... I have to basically open him up one more time, right? And the reason why this is a problem is simply because if Liu Kang does anything that's flawless blockable... He can pretty much break it, um, and I have to spend two bars to get any type of damage, right? Because I could do this. I know there's a gap there. I'm just using it as an example, right? Right, I could do that, but that does, like, no damage. So Liu Kang is still going to do it. He's trading 200 for, you know, 30%, right? So let's say I start doing this, right? Problem with that is that he can break it and I spent two bars, right? But something that we forget about uh, that gives you guaranteed damage is what if I get him off a defensive bar? Then he can't break. So for example, let's say I'm playing against Scorpion and we know Scorpions do this all the time uh, and they use up three. I'll just use Liu Kang's up three as an example, but Let's say I'm playing against Scorpion, and Scorpion uses his up three, and we all know that you can only punish Scorpion's up three with up two. So you'll need to use an up two combo to punish it. But this is a great example of why you should, you know, get them off a defensive bar, right? Because if they wake up, they're going to lose a defensive bar because it costs one bar of offensive and one bar of defensive right so there you go so that's guaranteed damage that's a good example of guaranteed dam damage with molina now another good example of guaranteed damage with molina is simply a crushing blow that we've been missing that we we don't really think about when we play molina it's her forward throw crushing blow now the thing about throws uh because it's a throw is that it's a guaranteed thing if it's a punish. So for example, let's say I'm off two bars of offensive meter. Let's just say I somehow use two bars, right? Well, if Liu Kang does something that's punishable, I can punish him with a throw, right? So for example, let's say Liu Kang is still kind of fucking around in the neutral and then pff, he does that. And I have no bar, you know, I have no bar of offensive meter, right? That's a guaranteed 30% that he can't break from. Like, he cannot break from it, right? Because it was a punish. Now, you could use it as a counter hit, but it's more of a risk because if it's a counter hit, they can break it. They can break counter hits. But for punishes, like, watch what, you know, study every character and what characters can do that are punishable. Like, this is a good example. This is punishable, and I can punish it with a throw. I have to time it, but I can punish it with a throw. So that's, that's another form of damage that you can basically get when you don't have two bars off off offensive, when you don't have a bar of offensive meter and you need damage. So I would, you know, if I'm playing Molina, I would definitely study the characters that do punishable shit, and I would focus on punishing them with a forward throw. Um, as the forward throw with the crushing blow, obviously. As, you know, if you have the timer up and they do something punishable, you'll you'll have something to punish them with. And that's good for rolls too, by the way. Now, another one is simply the fear of Molina's back one. So a lot of players, what they'll do is they won't neutral duck and wait for you to throw them. They'll down two crushing blow you, right? On like reading the throw. Well, what you can do is you can actually get off of her other crushing blow that way. So let's say you have no bars of offensive meter and your opponent down two crushing blows you, right? Or tries to, because they're trying to read a, a throw, right? Well, down two crushing blow them back. Duck it. An uppercut. That's 30%. Look at that. 30%.
So the threat of your throw, because remember, between her back one one, or her back one and her throw, it's a 50-50. Because they're both 10 frames and you can't, you can't, you can't duck OS them because they're both 10 frames. Right? So, just walk up to them and duck and let them try to down two crush and blow you because they're afraid of the throw so much. And then down two crush and blow them back and get your 30%. So that's another way you can get damage when you don't have damages, Molina. Anyway, I'm out because it's past five minutes. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more.